Good day everyone. Welcome back to class. This is another practical class and I want us to listen as we enjoy ourselves together. Today we are looking at cheaters. Cheaters. I'm still using the data of entered. Is that taken? Now cheaters. No, is teachers is used to compare means. Comparing of means, that is what the teacher is does. Alright? After you enter your data like this, as you can see here, that I see have my data, age, class, gender, uh, math achievement test, English achievement test, I have it from 1 to 60. Alright? Now, I probably I want to get the teachers for age, teachers for class, teachers for gender, teachers for Mathematics achievement test, test for English achievement test. It's very simple. Once you have your data like this, you go to analyze, you click on it, you move down, you get with the discrete statistics, you move down to compare means. Can you see it now? Compare means. You want to compare means? That's what called teachers statistics. Compare means. And under it, we have four ways in which we can use to analyze our data through t-test analysis. The first one is one sample t-test. The second one is independent sample t-test. The third one is peer samples t-test. And the last one, one way and over. And that one way and over is talking about uh, analysis of areas, we have that one there. That one will bring out uh, F statistics for us. That is why you can see it, FA. But the real t-test is between one, the one sample t-test, independent samples t-test, and peer samples t-test. Now, this one sample t-test is talking about individual and independent that must have dependent variable and independent variable. Why peer sample data is talking about you want to compare, you want to pair two together and compare their test. We are going to then deal with these three the one sample data, independent sample data, and peer sample data. Okay, let's go. Now you click you click on analyze. Okay. Come back to compare means. You move down to let's start with one sample t test. Click on one sample t test. This one will pump up. And which one you want to do? This one sample test is per individual variable. Age, I want age. You can click on it. One class, one gender. But let's say I have, I want age, class, and gender. You click on it. Now, you click on it like that. You can select it together. I have selected it together. You click on this arrow. Okay. Now, you can see it now under the text variables. Text variables. Now, you come to this option. Now, you see now, the probability value, convert value now is 95%. Therefore, you just need 0 0.05 of it. You click continue. The here now is being highlighted. But test value, you know, under that option, this option, we have 95%. The leftover, you can put as a 0 0.05 under test value if you want. 0 0.05, that will give us 5%. Then we click OK. See now. You see? Our A is giving us the number, the mean, the standard deviation, and our T test. See, for age, look at this age. The age, the T test for age, the calculated T test is 16.690. For class, is 21.030. For gender, is uh, 24.303. And our DF, I told us, DF means degree of freedom. Now when you get 59 under the four figures ago, then compare with this one, 
It means that when the teachers done here now, you calculate the test for personal one in your program one sample t test for the age is this, for the class is this. And in fact, if you if you didn't have four vertical with the probability value here, two ten, we have it here zero point zero zero. 0 .00, 0 .00. From here now, we can conclude that uh, uh, this t test is okay because there's no one that is there's no one of this probability value that is more that is more than 0 0.05. Our test value is 0 0.05. Whereas all the values of our probability here is what 0 0.00, 0 0.00, 0 0.00. Zero. That, that is sample. One sample t test. All right. Now let's go back. Now that's one sample t test. Let's go back, analyze, then compare means move down to independent sample t test. Independent sample t test. Now look at this another dialog box. Come on. Now we have it, we have test variable. Now, now independent sample t test, which one do you want me to or which one do you want to do? I've done this, I want to take, I've used a uh, age class gender before. Now let me use mathematics, you click on mathematics. Okay, I want to use a uh, English, you click English mathematics, yes. Now we discover that this page is not at this okay, yes. Because we still need to put uh, the group variable, the group variable that we got independent sample t test. We need to put the group variable that the two variables above that we enter here and this one depend upon. Now our group variable now, let's pick gender. Let's pick gender. We want to test gender, which is one, one and two. One for male and two for female. Now see, we have question mark here. It's not specified. Is that okay? Then you need to define that group. You click on it. Between group one, which is one for male, group two, two. Then you say continue. The moment you click continue like that, this OK will be active. Then if you want, you, if you want your media, anything, you click on option. See, and that is our probability value. Then we see 95 with 95 percent. So the remaining percent is 0 0.05 we are going to use. Then we click continue. Start taking up. Then we click OK. See, see now. That's it. That's our results. Now, this is the F statistics. We are not yet there. But these are T tests. Mathematical achievement tests with the male and the gender that we put above. Look at it now. The mathematical achievement test, both male and female. See, mathematical achievement test, we are now putting it together. We said test assist is the male. Mathematical achievement test, under male and female, we have it here. This is the male for male, this male for this mean, mean for male, this mean for female. For English achievement test, we have male, we have female, and this is the mean 15.54 for male and 15.17 for female. Alright? Now, under the details we are dealing with, because we are in the of independent, independent sample test, now you come back here now. Look at this one, equal variance and zoom. Equal variance not assumed. This is what you pick. Equal variance not assumed. This is now. Equal variance not assumed. Now, English achievement is equal variance assumed. Equal variance not assumed. Then you pick this. You see now. Now, compare this English test. English test and gender now. This T test that you have. Even from here, look at the probability value. Look at the probability. 0.5, which is higher. It is higher than 0 0.05 that you said, but it's 95 percent. Now, if you look at this one, now, it's higher. Now, this is the degree of freedom that we have here. This will call 
independent sample test that's the test for the free uh, equality of means. This is what we have. We have we have not done this exercise, it's just need this one. We are still dealing with t test and degree of freedom and probability value in the mean difference. And this one is called uh, standard error mean. That's what we have. Actually, we have all this one confidence, the lower the upper. But most time, the all this one are not useful for uh, the real analysis. The major one is this t test. So at the end of the day, you can copy this out and discuss your finding. In the present situation, we do up. Alright? Okay. Now we now move down to our input view. This input view. Alright? Now we have done the, we have done uh, one sample t test, independent. Now let's go to peer sample t test. Peer sample t test. See now. Peer sample t test. Now, under peer, what are the variables you want to peer together? And you can peer any variable together. You can peer any variable together as many as you want to test it. Now, you have age. Now, see the, they said peer variable. I have peer one, peer two, depend on whatever you want, depend on the variable you have there. And you can peer any variable as as you want, you just pair variable one, variable two. That's the one you want to pair, compare together. Okay. I want to pair mathematics. I will click on that mathematics. I will take it automatically. It will go to that variable one. Then I want to pair it with uh, English. I will click it. It will go to that variable two. Now that is first pair variable. Now I want to pair another variable. I just click here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want to pair the mathematics and mathematics and age. Probably maybe the age is affecting their performance. That's it. Mathematics and age. I want to pair mathematics English to an age. English and age. As I say, it depends on you. I have, I have three paired variables that I want to test now. Now, once you are done, already you see here, the OK boss is already active. Now you can come to options and our confidence interval, which is probability value, is say 95%. You know, when you take 95% away from 100, you have 5%, and that 5% is 0 0.05. That's what that place is talking about. When you are, when you are done with that, you come down and click OK. See, see doing our results. These are results. Our results. Peer sample t test. You see how our mean said, look at it. Peer one. I'm pairing mathematics achievement test with English. Two, mathematics achievement test with age. English achievement test with age. I have their mean, the number, the standard deviation and standard error mean. I have it here. Now, peer sample correlations. The correlation look at this. So we still come back to, to that. Now let's see the peer sample t test. Peer sample t test. Now this is it. I have mean for the two standard deviation, standard error mean. I have lower and I have proper values. Now look at it here. Look at it here. From this place, I can even analyze that. The performance of students in mathematics and English, uh, it is somehow. Why? Because I have minus. See? Minus. That's what that result is telling me. And even without opening my fourth got table to show the value of the degree of freedom under 59. Now look at the probability value, which is 0 0.483. It is far more than 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Look at it now. We do result now, although I still need to check for the other issues, look for teachers under the degree of freedom of 59. But with this probability value, is telling me that the, the, the relationship between them it is not good, even I am negative. Now, mathematics and age, look at the teachers, 
It says I have 34.418 under the degree of freedom of 50. Now this T is calculated. Any one you do on with SPSS is calculated. The one you check from the four figure table is tabulated. Is that correct? Okay? Now the degree of freedom here, the degree of freedom here is 0 0.00. You see, it's less than 0 0.05. And this one too, the English estimated an age. We have it as 44.186 under the degree of freedom of 59. And the probability value is 0 0.00, which is less than. 0 0.05. It means that these two, the achievement test with age, English achievement test with age, they are good. That's what the result is talking about now. Comparing the mathematics test and English test, it means that they will the mark, the mark, the goals between math and English, they are close. And that is why you are comparing means of two variables together. If their means, their means is, uh, their score is still close, you might not get the desired result. And that's what's happening here now. That's why we got negative value. And here we have 34, and we have this very good. I call this one very good result. Now, is that again? That is this one under the text, teacher's analysis. Test analysis. There's three aspects of this. So one sample t test, independent sample t test, and the peer sample t test. Is that it? Alright.